Hello and welcome. Back to a little bit more. I've been making a bunch of reaction videos uh, in the last like day and a half. But I am going to do another underground science video. Yay! And I wanted to talk about the rocks I found. So they're not, it's not really that much underground science, but it pertains to it. So it's going to be one of them. Um, and I thought I'd start with this one. I don't know if I talked about it more recently. I've, I'm pretty sure I've talked about the ones that I posted to a degree, but I've been thinking about them so much that I, even if I have, I have like different thoughts that I may not have said before that are maybe worth mentioning. So this one I find really interesting. So as you can see, it has a layer. On this side, notably, it has this little crack type thing with a two offshoots something going on and then it's it's very smooth here like it's actually like flat where that is like there's a, a smoothness to the stone where over here it's more like round it's more rounded here this is smooth like this section And then it's got another layer, but these two layers are actually the same layer. So let's go around. This is that flat section with the crack. And then we can kind of see it. So I called this one the taco shell at some point, so I've definitely talked about this one. I noticed there's a hole there also, which is interesting. I didn't notice it on the stone, but once I noticed it on this picture, I was like, oh yeah, there's a little tiny hole there. <laughs> yeah, so there's this one, which is cool. But I was just going through some new posts. I took some new pictures. Um, let's see what of interest is definitely the V shape to it. Like here, it shows it pretty well. And then here, and I notice. This is inward, like around this whole section. The the bottom layer is just a little bigger, but like similar shape. It's just it's just sticking out a little. So it's almost like they're in resonance, maybe. Like it's the same shape. So it's a, like stacked the same shape of the bottom layer and the top layer to this point, but then over here, it actually fans out this side and becomes more elongated and almost like it, like over this section's going this way, but then it starts to bend. So it's almost like it elongated here, has this little dimple mark here into the rock, which maybe is related to some shape that's like stemming back from here. I wonder if this flat section had pressure on it or over here was more exposed to current, like something was like blocking this part of the rock by applying a pressure to it where it then didn't get exposed to the more shaping of it all, but also behaved as like a nucleus section of the rock. I, I wonder if it was like a tectite that was spinning. I don't know. I don't know. My fingers, I even recorded a little video. Let's check out the little video. Not the worst video. It's a, it is a really interesting rock. Right here we can kind of see. Maybe I, I don't know if I have a good picture of that. The side, this side, the under, like looking at this side.
it just kind of sticks out. Like I'll, I'll run my, I do this and I run my finger along it a lot and I feel it stays about equal, but then it like has a substantial ledge thing here. There's like a ledge at that point. At this point over here. I guess we can see it pretty good there. Okay, let's move on from this one. This wasn't even the one reason I wanted to record, but I took these pic these pictures. I really might have recorded this already, talking about these. I think I talked about this. The four little holes. One of It's basically got a thing across and another thing across with four openings. I may not have talked about this, which... Um, when I looked at it, it really gave me vibes. It made me think of, um, not immediately, but it made me think of centered around here. Like across here, two here, across here, up, down, up, down, across here, across, and then across, generally up here, is kind of how I interpret it, to be like a big square with four smaller squares within it. Interesting. It's really interesting. After those Malcolm Bendel videos and his discussion of square, maybe we're even seeing like a larger fractal of it in a different way somehow, of like a, one of the squares at least. <clears throat> but it has, re interestingly, these little things that it, one might say are shells, but I'm like, dude, this one wraps around this way, and then one wraps from here around this way. So one goes this way, this way, this way, basically, from here over. And then another one comes off of here and wraps around here. Essentially, I'm like, dude, are these little seashells adding, like, accents of a swastika? Because I really think, like, the reason a swastika is a thing is not obviously because of Nazis, because they just, it's from Hinduism or something. It's from somewhere. Ancient. It's ancient, and it has a reason, and I'm pretty sure it's current-based, like whatever's going on here-based. Whatever's going on here-based... So I, was, I thought that was interesting, the way this shell is. It has a little opening on one end and a big opening on the other. It's really like a conduit that the channel, the current was flowing through. And then shaping like a actual shell out of just the crystallinity of that, like... Nuance, that just not nuance, but nuance, but the that precision of the location of it all like it, it's not making shells everywhere. I know it sounds ridiculous, but we're gonna look at a rock in a second or a shell. Let's look, let's look at the ones I just posted. We talked about this one before. This is the one I've been I've been looking at this so much. This one right here, this shell, there's two shells right here that we can see. There's another one back here, and there's more. <clears throat> but this shell... Pictures. 
Um, I just want to zoom in. I can't zoom in on Twitter. <clears throat> like, this is still this shell, right? Right here. Like, we can kind of see it's still the shell. Whereas over here, this shell, like, like it's not, this is not this shell. It, there's a material overlaying this shell here. That seems to be, though, what's crazy is it seems to literally be this shell's material. Like, the porous material literally just taken and laid atop with additives probably of whatever's in the current and just crystallizing this out and connecting two systems that were forming in currents that are not like seashells in the way we traditionally would think of them as being like the results of living creatures like from a Although that makes me think of again of Malcolm Malcolm Bendel's sentient plasmoid discussion. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Okay. So there's that going on. Where this this shell? I know that maybe there's. Um, explanations in science but like this shell's material is overlaid we're gonna keep going though overlaid this way i believe right it's hard to tell in this picture yeah yeah the, this is the the one that has its material seemingly just physically stretched over here to the very boundary like it does of the shell it goes to the boundary and then there's like a little space where the shell itself is and then this material just extends exactly there it doesn't like go past and elongate it's like right to there almost like it's tapping in dendritically or something energetically binding and becoming one unit And then it's got that shell up there, which we're going to get to. Here's one, just another piece. So notice this one, you can see an edge, you can see an edge, you can see an edge. All the way around it, you can see an edge. Just like here, you can see an edge, you can see an edge. You can see an edge, you can see an edge, like... You can tell this edge is this shell. This edge is this shell. This edge is this shell. So I, all is fine in the world of these are just shells. What do you want, dude? Okay. Let's get to the what I want. I put it in the next one. Those were just angles. These are just sides. That's right. I made the, I posted this one as just the sides of it. It's not really meant to show what I was trying to show specifically and wanted to talk about right now. This was meant to just show the shell. And then this one although I didn't say anything, was meant to show what's going on with this shell over here. Again, notice there's a distinct outline here of this shell that then goes over here and is overlapped by this shell. Another shell here, and then we notice this shell, but it, already we can kind of see it's a little weird, like around here. Okay, we gotta, we gotta zoom in on this one. Let's call it f six, because that was six, maybe. So this shell, let me look at it in front of my eyes.
coming off of the side of the one that is laying over, is uh, overlaying the other. The one that's material overlays, okay. I don't know why I'm just trying to re-say that, like that wasn't sufficient, like dear God. <laughs> if you're listening, that was sufficient, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Okay, what am I gonna say here? I'm just, I just wanna look at it. Just wanna look at it real nice. So from this angle, it really, and notice that there's also these little pores along the way. I don't know what, what to make of them exactly. Whoa. They really start, like, over here. Wherever the shell cracks, here, at the crack, Let's see if we can, what other images we got. Notably, it just flows into it and around. And there, there's a boundary here, like right here. It kind of looks like this is a shell. Like a distinct shell. Like you can see um the like orangish coloration of the bigger shell has like a boundary where there's a uh the white material like a, a distinct boundary where it kind of looks like there's a boundary to the inside of the shell here but over here it really it truly does not look like there is a distinguishable boundary What I do see is like a nub. It's it's really interesting. Like there's literally like a little nub somewhere. It's hard. Let's see if I can. I didn't anticipate what I'd say, so I just tried to take some photos. I so said it starts here. Yeah. Wait, no. Wrong. No, no, no. This and this one right here. It starts here, the openings, and then they go this way, and around. Wow, I did not notice that, that they actually start on the edge of the shell. Like the edge of the shell is pretty clean. There's almost none of those. There's one other one right here that I see, and then this chain that wraps around here. And then it even like massively carves into it. Like there's big pores. There's pores like on the side, like here, 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 here. <clears throat> it almost looks though, I don't, it almost looks like it divides. Like it goes, it flows this way, like a current is flowing that flows this way and then it divides some of it goes this way some of it goes this way
I'm just like, is this a, one of those a more complex seashell than I realized that's this one and this one, and it had some other, like, bigger parts that was more of the, like, spiral ones going up. I don't think I have any here. I have one over there, but... <clears throat> also, we even see these, like, channels that were here in here, it looks like. Like, it's not... I don't think that's from, Ant like... Some living creature, maybe after after it was in the ocean at this point, but it might have been just straight up carved by the shaping of the stone. That's in the stone that overlays. This is the one that overlays. So the it overlays this one, and it has this offshoot system. Okay, so that, that's interesting. So it's like it has a current going this way into this one, but it's meeting so much resistance, maybe through this channel, so somewhat like up through this way at the very top here through over in across but it breaks off a section of the current and wraps around here There's so many cool things in here. I almost want to break it apart. <laughs> Just break the shells apart, see what it looks like. The only thing is if I did, I wouldn't be able to uh, ensure it cleanly broke. Like, who knows? If I didn't cleanly break it, I'd be pretty sad. I mean, I'd be, I would be. I really don't want to break it. It's so cool. But it also, I imagine that there's more of them at the beach now that I know I have a better idea of what I can find and what to look for I'm sure I'll find more whenever I go back whenever I make it back to Venice Beach I wonder here that's a good image we can see the opening this is this is that shell we've been looking at that looks like it's part of the other shell that's here that's also like overlaying this shell it has a pore that's very large and circular here that then has a smaller pore in it That seems to go somewhere. Honestly, it looks like it. It looks like it goes this way, like towards the openings on the top layer here, towards over here. Okay, okay, okay. Also, also, of interest maybe, 
<clears throat> is this shape here at the center is pretty much a triangle. I don't know. I don't know why all these things might be relevant. I'm just noting them sometimes. And <laughs> triangle and that's why I say stuff. I'm just noting it, okay? I'm just noting it. Hmm. There's even this stuff in here and in the other openings into between these seashells which if there are like fossils of current flows that flowed <laughs> then uh That would kind of make sense that they're in there, in there, and that like interior network interconnected region where like the bonds between adjacent systems are, but or channels of exchange between the systems. Okay, um, I'm gonna call it here. That's uh, maybe not right here, but let's see. I guess that's that's cool. Those are the ones I've been more so thinking about, like enough to have some like interesting. Like, what is going on here kind of thoughts. Sometimes I just look at them. This one I look at pretty good amount of time. It's got this, like, angle to it right at this little thing inside of it. It's like, why is it angled there? I thought about this one. Then. Uh, maybe I t did I talk about this? might have where it like deflects around I hope I did if I didn't that's too bad because I, I had some good thoughts about it I probably did recorded it like everything else I lost free card what do you mean I have way too much content for anyone to reasonably go through <laughs> serious problem though so with that, without further ado, peace out. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed the seashells and rocks. Till next time. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so awkward, dude. So I need, like make it more awkward. If people are like find it awkward, I'm I'm just kind of I just don't know what to do. So I'm just kind of have fun with it being awkward about it. But then I'm like, ah. Oh, the name, are you the S. Scully cited in the second catalog of active galactic nuclei detected by the Fermi Large Area Telescope? If only. Academia.edu. Sometimes, I, for a little, like maybe a couple of years, I thought, well, maybe someone will someday publish a paper and cite me, and I'll find out that way. <laughs> <laughs> I guess sooner or later is bound to happen sooner or later given the bomb diggity fire I be dropping you heard